Welcome back. You're with AM. Ever wondered what the cost of convenience is? This is a bugbear of mine. Surcharges on contactless or paywave purchases. They're becoming more and more commonplace and the costs really do add up. If your daily coffee is, let's say, $5.50 uh, and you use paywave to pay for it, you'll get charged an extra 13 cents. And over the course of a year, that's an additional 50 bucks and 50 cents just for tapping your card or your phone or your watch or your contactless du jour device. Um, where does the money go? Who's milking the system? Joining us now is Chris Wilkinson. He's for the managing director of the First Retail Group. Um, my question, I guess, the first one to you is, how, does, how do these surcharges work? Why do they exist anyway? Well, look, Lloyd, the cost of actually doing this, uh, these transactions and you know, delivering this convenience is, uh, is not insignificant, as you can imagine. So retailers have to deal with what's called the uh, interchange cost that the banks charge, the, the credit card companies charge the banks or the, the debit card companies charge. And uh, and also the businesses have those costs of delivering that service, such as the FPOS and that type of administration as well. Okay, so it's Visa and MasterCard who, who essentially we need to blame here. Well, look, it's, it's any of those credit card companies, but also the banks themselves in terms of the debit cards that, that we have, um, you know, running those types of systems is not insignificant in terms of cost. So why is it in New Zealand? Because I've been overseas and travelled and stuff. Contactless, you don't get pinged a surcharge when you're, when you're in a UK, like an off-licence uh, in the UK. Contactless is just normal. There's no extra costs. Why can't we do that here? That's right. Look, I mean, the, the contact, contactless model is much more prevalent in the UK. It was much earlier. And, you know, for instance, you can jump on the tube and use contactless anywhere. We, we're quite a way behind in, in, in many ways in terms of our payment systems here in New Zealand. Can, can we say no? You know, when that comes up and it says you've got a surcharge, can you just hit no? Or is there a way to opt out legally? Well, the challenge is that you don't have, you know, you really don't have to go and choose that retailer. Retailers always uh, explain that there is a surcharge. You always see that at the point of purchase. And, and I, I mean, I don't blame the retailer for this. I'm not targeting the retailers. It's the big, it's the big kahunas who are milking it by the sounds. They're using this as, they're using contactless as a cash cow. Well, interestingly, Lloyd, Lloyd the, um, we've now got parity with Australia. So for many years, in fact, up until 2022, we were an outlier. We were paying some of the highest costs in the world for our um, merchant fees. Yeah, I feel like we're being taken um, for a ride for this. Should the, can the government intervene in some way? Can they make it, like, can they change the law? I know that they did some stuff around when COVID was around to, to discount it, but do we need to do some more stuff? Does the government need to pick up the baton on this? Well, it's interesting, the banks actually took up the baton through COVID and they made contactless uh, free for the businesses and, the, and consumers. So in 2022, they did pass that legislation and now the Commerce Commission has that opportunity to intervene if uh, things get out of, out of whack. And also the Commerce Commission can intervene if businesses are charging too much in terms of their surcharges as well. Is there a reason for the surcharge? Does it cost Visa and MasterCard and Amex and all of them? Does it actually cost them to provide that service? That's right. Why is it more expensive than FTPOS? And if you, you know, shove it in and press check or whatever you pin and, and go, why is it more expensive? Well, interestingly, what we've got is quite a sliding scale of, of charges. So from everything from 0.39 from charities, right up to 2% if you're using a, uh, say, for instance, a Visa corporate card. So there's quite a whack there between the two. I'd love to know um, the overall. Do you, know, you don't know off the top of your head how much money they're actually making from this, what their revenue is from these surcharges? <laughs> no, and I don't think anyone will ever work that out, Lloyd. OK, wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, Chris. That's Chris Wilkinson, the Managing Director of First Retail Group. Uh, do you guys get annoyed with this? I get annoyed with it. With, maybe it's just me, but it's a little bugbear of mine, and uh, I'm going to campaign on this I mean, all it, year. it is annoying, but I also really sympathise with small business owners, and mm. they've got so many costs that are adding up and they're not the ones to, to blame say, though are they no exactly so i i don't i don't begrudge them for mm. adding it on to the the, the terminal mm -hmm.